it's Thursday and you really haven't missed much this week. Guys, I've just been working and yesterday was Bailey's fifth birthday, so we celebrated that. Today I've got a few things in town, so I thought I'd bring you guys along with me. First of all, I'm going to the Tom Ford counter to learn about their fragrances because they have like a million and it's so confusing. So me and Anna are gonna have a little fragrance lesson. Then we've got this kind of Google kind of talk thing, um, telling people about what we do. And then I'm going to go visit the new Bobby Brown store in Covent Garden, then back home for some work. So, a bit of a busy day in town. That was really fun, we had a really nice time. <coughs> oh my god, I'm going to choke on popcorn. I'm right. I'm right. <laughs> I'm <laughs> so that was really nice. We had a really good time at the Tom Ford counter learning all about their like most popular fragrances and stuff and I think I'm gonna do a whole blog post on it so look out for that or I'll link it below if it's already gone up. Wow it's really loud here, it's probably not the best time to vlog. <laughs> We're just heading to the Google offices now to do our little talk and we, we don't really know what to expect but um, hopefully it'll be good. So we've just finished our little talk and I bumped into my friend Olivia from uni. I was so, so did not know she'd be here, she actually works here. So that was a pleasant surprise and the talk went well, it's fine. <laughs> right, talk done and we're now going to have some lunch. Anna, where are we going? <laughs> home now. Um, I've been home for a little bit, just been catching up on some work. The talk went really well. I couldn't film any because there wasn't anyone to film me, which was a shame, but um, we just kind of talked about what we do on YouTube and it's always fun talking about what you do and everyone's always really interested because it's still such a new thing. Um, so yeah, I've just been doing some work and I'm actually just, well I've just spent the last like 20 minutes trying to take a photo of myself. It's quite hard, getting a good selfie is hard, but I've been taking this selfie, which if it focuses you'll see is me putting my hair across my face so it looks like a moustache. I actually think I got quite a funny photo in the end. And the reason I'm doing that, I'm not just very strange, is because I don't know if you guys have heard of Movember. Rich did it a couple of years ago. It's when guys grow a moustache um, throughout the month of November to raise money and awareness for men's health. And in the past, it's always just been guys who do Movember and us girlfriends are always like kind of campaigning for them and re helping them raise money. But um, this year, there's actually a way for the girls to get involved with Movember, which I think is really cool. My grandpa actually died of prostate cancer. I was very young, but whenever Movember comes around, I always think it's nice to get involved somehow. And Ozzy, the hair care brand, I love Ozzy, love their three minute miracle. They are actually the first ever female sponsors of Movember this year. It's really exciting. They've got this whole campaign going on where they're trying to get the girls involved with Movember. So what they're asking you guys to do is upload a selfie of yourself on your social media channels with your moustache for Movember. And a moustache is when you take your hair and you put it across like that and you create you create your own moustache a female moustache so all you have to do is take a little selfie like i did here and use the hashtag moustache and movember and post it on your instagram or twitter or facebook wherever you like and if you want to know more about aussie's campaign in general there's loads going on you can go to their facebook page which i will link down in the description bar below i think it's so fun that us girls can get involved with movember finally so i've done my selfie and I think it came out all right. So if you guys want to do it too, you can tag me in it as well if you want on Instagram so I can see them. But don't forget to use the two hashtags, moustache and Movember. Happy moustaching. It's quarter past seven at night and we've somehow got into a like serious working mode and I'm getting loads done. I'm just such a night owl. This is when I am my most productive. So I'm gonna get on with what I'm doing and probably make some dinner at some point. And then I'm gonna vlog on the weekend because it's mine and Rich's seven year anniversary on Saturday. So we've got a nice day planned and then we are going to Brighton, but I'll explain that all on Saturday morning. So I'll see you then. Morning guys, it's Saturday now. And today is a very special day. It's mine and Rich's seven year anniversary. And you may be thinking, why are you vlogging on such a personal day? But um, first of all, it's just a, like, it's not like a wedding anniversary and also Rich doesn't mind. He likes vlogging now. So we were supposed to have like a whole day in London planned. This was the idea. Rich booked a restaurant and, and then, <laughs> and then Anna, as in like, Anna that you know, Anna and Mark and her family, they're doing a 10k race tomorrow morning in Brighton 
and a spot opened up and obviously Rich wanted to take it. So plans got rearranged and we're now heading to Brighton tonight for an anniversary dinner, staying in a nice B&B and then they're all doing the race together tomorrow morning. So that will still be nice. So we're now heading over to my sister's just to see Bailey and Honey because Rich hasn't actually seen Bailey since he turned five and he wanted to go see him. And then we're gonna go out for lunch in London, somewhere called Smack lobster or well, it's just called smack but don't google it because your weird things will come up trust me and they don't actually have a website yet but they have a twitter so i'll link it below and it's like a new lobster brioche kind of place seven years long time i've put a photo on my facebook page of what we look like when we met compared to what we look like now so go have a look at that i will put the link down below i'm trying to do more with my facebook page these days put a few kind of exclusive photos and maybe some like video teasers spoilers so um go like my page if you want to see those oh i forgot to say that rich made me a lovely breakfast in bed this morning i'll insert a clip of that now and he bought me a really nice card i also got him a card i think we both did very well this year with our cards okay we're just heading to the restaurant and for those of you who kind of know london a little bit it's basically right next to selfridges so it's got a really good central location seriously delicious I didn't say before but I'm not actually a huge fan of lobster so that was quite a risk I actually prefer crab because it's normally quite a bit sweeter and lobster I can sometimes find a bit too fishy but that place was so good it's brand new so it was quite empty still I don't think many people know about it and they've got a really simple menu so there's like I think five different lobster rolls you can get and they each have like a different theme one's like Japanesey one was like the California one that Rich had with avocado in it and one was like Mexican which was spicy and they're brioche rolls but they're really clever it's like a big bit of bread with like a half sliced and then it's stuffed with all the lobster then there's courgette fries that you can get on the side and all these soft drinks they even do like natural cola so it's like coke without all the like crap in it and you fill them, fill them up yourself it was a really cool vibe in there I had a really good meal did you enjoy yours? yeah a lot it's good, isn't it? Yeah. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to do a blog post on that. I took some photos while I was in there, so look out for that. So we're now going to drive to Brighton. I much prefer getting the train because it takes like an hour. I think this is going to take us like two hours. So we just got to the hotel. Look how fancy this is. Like a little B&B &B in Brighton, but actually it's like really nice. TV. Look, a bath, like in the middle of the room. That is so cool. And a really nice bathroom. This is very unexpected. Hi guys, so we just went for a little um, walk around town. We walked around all the little lanes that had pretty Christmas lights. And we went for a cup of tea and a bit of chocolate cake. And I kind of forgot to vlog because I was just really sleepy and just kind of forgot, but that's fine. Um, we're now back at the hotel. It's like six o'clock. So I'm gonna have a shower and like freshen up. Maybe watch a bit of TV and then we've got a table booked for dinner at Food for Friends which I think I said before it's a veggie restaurant. That would be nice. Okay I'm feeling refreshed and I think we're going to go for dinner now looking forward to a yummy vegetarian meal. and the meal was lovely. It's a really nice restaurant, but unfortunately the first mouthful of food that I ate had a massive green chili in it that I couldn't see and I didn't know what it was and the more I chewed, the worse it got and it completely burnt my mouth off. I'm actually fine with spicy food, but this was a proper raw green chili. And I had to have drink milk and it kind of burnt my mouth and I couldn't really taste the rest of the meal and I was a bit traumatized. But Rich had a lovely meal. <laughs> that was just very unfortunate, but we had a really nice time. We had some really good wine. And now we're just back and looking forward to the race tomorrow morning. I think Rich is gonna head off a little bit earlier than me because I'm gonna meet them kind of halfway to cheer them on. Um, see you guys tomorrow. The parking may be horrendous, but there's no doubt it is nice to have some fresh sea air. I just realised I have no idea what top Rich is wearing, so I'm definitely not going to find him in the race.
Okay, I'm at the halfway point and I'm freezing, but I think the race has just started, so I think it might be 25 minutes till they get here. myself rich has passed and I kind of need to start walking to get to the finish line otherwise he's gonna get there way before me and I've got keys to the hotel I haven't seen Anna or anyone else yet um, and I can't find her mum so I'm just gonna walk alongside the runners <laughs> I saw Anna it took me a while to recognize her I don't know why I only spotted her because her sister's fiance was running next to her it's quite easy to spot but it didn't look like her it was weird but she looked like she was doing well very proud I'm literally just walking alongside the runners so many different types of guilt going on here. Oh, I saw Anna again. I'm actually really proud of her. When we met, we bonded over the fact that we are both like um, exercise phobes. And then randomly one day she decided, hey! <laughs> and the sister just walked past. She's like, only Lily would be vlogging. Um, yeah, one day she decided to just run and she got to like a mile and now suddenly she's doing a 10K race. I'm very proud. I can't even like walk that far. Woo! Anna, there's like a giant bee on your head. Oh my god. So I found everyone now. How are you yeah. feeling, Rich? Good. How fast did you do it? In? Uh, 44 minutes. Pretty good, considering he didn't train. This is one of those annoying people. Um, I think everyone did really well. So we've just picked up some bagels from Bagel Man. Yeah, those look good. Bagel chips, garlic and herb. Anyway, we're just going to eat our bagel. We're both starving because we didn't have breakfast. And then we're going to head home. I've got a family tea because it's my mom. It was my mom's birthday and it was Bailey's birthday. So we always do like family teas. Um, but I think I might stop vlogging here because I'm feeling a bit tired now. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. And I'll see you on Thursday for my next video. Bye. Bye.